Hello loves, my name is Juliana Zinchenko and you are watching my bike short sewing tutorial using my downloadable sewing pattern. You can get my sewing patterns on my website and I will link that below. Let's start off with what we need. You will need my sewing pattern, a safety pin, non-roll elastic, fabric scissors, pins, and thread. You can either use polyester or woolly nylon. I use woolly nylon because it stretches. All right, let's get started. You wanna choose a fabric that has stretch to it. And now we're figuring out which direction has the most stretch. If you have a fabric that's a four-way stretch, it's usually the same amount of stretch no matter which direction. But just to be safe, you can find the salvage edge of your fabric. And the most stretch is going perpendicular to the salvage edge. You will see that there's this double arrow on the sewing pattern, so you know which way to lay it on the fabric. Next, we're going to fold our fabric so we can cut two pieces at once. So this is the salvage edge and this is the fold right here. Now I'm going to lay down my pattern perpendicular to the salvage edge and I recommend pinning down your pattern, especially if you're a beginner. Now we're gonna cut, cut, cut. A pro tip is to make sure your scissors stay on the counter. If you feel them flying in the air, put them back down. All right, now we got two pieces for the price of one. You know you cut them out right when you have them right sides facing up and they're mirroring each other. All right, now we're gonna cut out our waistband. Anytime you see this symbol on a sewing pattern, you need to put that edge on a fold. So as you can see here, I have folded my fabric again and I'm going to place the pattern perpendicular to the salvage edge. Again, this doesn't matter if you have a four-way stretch fabric. You can place the pattern in any direction, it doesn't matter. And as you can see, I have that double arrow right on the folded edge of the fabric. Now we're gonna take one leg and fold it vertically so the opposite sides match up just right there. And you're gonna do this with both legs and you wanna make sure you fold them so the right sides are together as you can see. Now you're gonna sew along this line. The stitch is going to be a quarter inch from the edge and you can either use a three-step zigzag stitch on a sewing machine or you can use a serger, which I am doing with woolly nylon thread. I highly recommend buying a serger, especially if you're gonna be sewing stretchy outfits a lot. You can find affordable ones that work just as good as expensive ones, but also not necessary. It's totally fine if you just wanna use your sewing machine. There's so many great stitches on a sewing machine that you can use with stretchy pieces. These are just the stitches that I recommend. I love the three-step zigzag zigzag stitch on a sewing machine. I think it works great, but there's tons that you can use. This is what it will look like when you're all finished. See, it stretches very nicely. Now, when you've done that to both legs, you're going to take one of the pieces and flip it so it's right sides out. Now, you're going to take that piece and put it inside the other one so that the right sides of the fabric are touching each other and you're going to match up the inner leg seams together. As you can see here, I have both the leg seams and I'm just gonna match them right up together. And when you're all finished, you should only see the wrong side of the fabric, no matter which way you flip it. 
Now take your shorts and flip it so the inner leg seam is facing up and you're now going to see this deep valley shape and you're just going to sew right along that line. Again, the seam allowance is a quarter inch from the edge. That is what it will usually be and these are the stitches I recommend once again. By the way, I am in love with the serger. I will link it below if it is still available. I'm pretty sure it is. This is what it will look like when you're all finished sewing. And now what you're going to do is you're going to flip your shorts right side out. Now we're gonna work on the waistband. What you're gonna do is you're going to fold it vertically, right sides together, and sew along that line. Now we're going to locate the back seam. You can do this by laying your pants down, and the back of the pants will be a little bit higher than the front, as you can see here. Now you're going to take your waistband and fold it horizontally so all you see is the right side of the fabric. Now find the seam in your waistband and you're going to match that up to the back seam of your shorts. Now what you're going to do is take your shorts and put it inside of the waistband. Having the seam in the back is also a way for you to know which is the back side of your shorts and which is the front as you're putting them on if you don't want to put a tag in the back. So as you can see here, I have the seam on the waistband lined up with my back seam. You should have three layers of fabric together at this point. Again, I recommend pinning. Now what you're going to do is sew all the way around, but make sure you leave at least an inch and a half or two inch space near the back. This is so we have a space to put our elastic in. Another pro tip is to lay the ends of the seam in opposite directions to make it nice and flat as you sew. Keep in mind that the waistband is a little bit smaller than the pants themselves. This is on purpose, so don't worry about this. So you will need to stretch the waistband a little bit as you sew to match it up correctly to the pants. This is what it will look like when you're all finished. And you see we have that opening right there. And I think this goes without saying, I normally would choose a thread that matches the color of the pants, but I wanted you guys to be able to see the stitches. All right, now I'm gonna take my non-roll elastic and I'm going to put it around my waist to see how much I will need. And I'm going to make sure that I leave at least an inch of overlap because we're going to be sewing this elastic flat. Next, take your safety pin and pin it to the end of the elastic. We're gonna use this to snake it through the waistband. We're gonna go through the opening that we left at the back of the pants. Okay, once you got your elastic all the way through and you got two ends poking out like this, you're gonna take your safety pin off and you're going to overlap the one inch and you're going to sew a square with an X in the middle. And I will show you what I mean in a second.
Next, we're gonna stretch out our bike shorts so that it's more even, and we're going to close up the space that we left in the back here. Try not to stitch the elastic as you are stitching this hole closed. All right, guys, we're almost finished. What we're gonna do is serge the ends, or you can use a double overlock stitch on the sewing machine. Now turn your bike shorts inside out and you're going to fold the hem up three fourths of an inch and pin. Next, what you're gonna do is stitch close to the surged edge using a triple stretch straight stitch on the sewing machine. This is a great stitch to use when working with stretchy pieces. I am using green thread here so you guys can see it. You can kind of see it here. And then here's the other side. And voila, our shorts are all done. You can get my sewing pattern in the link in the description. If you ever need help on a project or get stuck on anything, feel free to DM me on Instagram.